mid run competition. I don't know how to do this. I guess I love triathlon because triathlon loves me. <laughs> you know it's a strong group when you are a world champion and still get third. Hello, my name is Gustav Eden and I'm uh, going to show you today uh, an 800 meter super fast swim, hopefully. Some running, some cycling and some eating of pizza. Being on a training camp, it's really awesome. It's uh, so easy to get the hours in. You just wake up, go to breakfast, go back to the room, go to the swimming pool, go back to eat, go out for a bike and then run and then eat some more and then go to bed. So life is really streamlined here. You don't have to think a thing. You just have to go out and just train and eat. Welcome to Southern Europe. We're here in Portugal with my teammates and we're gonna have a one hour easy run now. And the weather as always here in Portugal is beautiful. So almost hot enough to run in a shorts, so that's why I do. Um, just a little warm up for the day, then we go hard on the swing. Mid-run competition. I don't know how to do this. Oh, <laughs> off the bad start. Ah, I'm super bad. You can do it, maybe. And this is actually how I was coloring my hair. I took all of the trees and just squeezed it. Now we're running 4.15, so yeah, an easy run. Sometimes we push the pace up to like 3.40 and it's still quite easy, but then the muscles are getting a bit more uh, tired. So today we're just keeping it 100% easy. So now it's only 10 minutes left of the run. As you can see, the weather is pretty shitty, but we're still out here working. We are Norwegian Vikings. We are the Norwegian Vikings! So during the run, Christian got to show his talent for uh, juggling. I didn't know how to do it, but I am pretty good at the uh, like handstand. So now I'm gonna show my talent. I guess I love triathlon because triathlon loves me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just a really good mixture because I, I love cycling and I love running and swimming I can deal with. So the combination of those three to not only have the good parts but some suffering in there as well, I think it's, uh, it's a good thing. Yeah, welcome to the UFC fight here today. Today's uh, fight will be 800 meter all out swimming. And the fighters is me in the red corner, lane eight, versus Christian Blumenfeld. El Toro Bleu! <laughs> Eight hundred meter all out test. Uh, that's the test we do with yeah, every once, every six weeks to see what level they are uh, on the longer distance set. We also do 100 meter, 200 meter tests that we had done earlier on in the camp. But uh, this time and today, the most important one is 800 meter. The race strategy. Oof. I don't have like the maximum output to really save anything, so I just go all out. So even though I'm, uh, I'm doing all I can to really sprint as fast as I can, I'm not fast enough to really hang on with the good guys. But luckily I know that even though I'm going all out, I have enough energy to be strong on the bike and uh, on the run. So I don't really have a strategy. Try to maybe be a bit relaxed, but go really all out. Get it low, five, five, eight. Oh. 
Eight one. Nine one. Six three. Oh well. Threshold. Threshold. Beast. Threshold beast. One thing that makes Gusta different from the competitors is that he's an intelligent racer. When he has won his World uh, 73 Championship and Challenge Daytona, you, you see he, he races in an intelligent way. He knows his strength, he knows his limits, and, and he, he knows how to use it in his best way to get out the best result. The swim is really, really day dependent. If I feel like I have a good day, it's a 10. It's an absolute 10, because if I feel like I make a progress, then it's a really good day. But most of the days I would say it's hovering about five or six because I don't really have that much confidence in the swim. And uh, you always feel best where you're confident, so I'm still working on it. I'm eating the perfect recovery meal, an extra, extra large pizza pepperoni. Thanks, Will. I managed to change the anchos but uh, Hawaii tastes quite good. My relationship with Christian uh, started so many years ago, I can't even remember the first time we met, but uh, yeah, we have been a lot together and sharing a room and sharing almost every training session, so uh, we are really, really close. Um, one of the worst things about him is him breathing at night. I am a really sensitive sleeper and his breathing is intense. Every one of my competitors know that during a race he is a heavy breather, but it doesn't stop at night. No, no, no. It keeps on going. So uh, that's one of the worst qualities about him. The best quality, I would say, is uh, consistency. He's really like consistent in mood and in training and everything. It's just like um, a boat going through the water. It's just like plowing through everything. So it's, uh, that's a really cool thing about him. It's uh, 2 times 2,000, 2 times 1,500, and 4 times 1,000 meters. We start off 315, 310, and then we finish it off at uh, 240 something, I guess. We'll see. Body energy level is a bit low, and uh, I don't prefer running hard sessions in the afternoon because of the lunch and everything. But I think the stomach should be okay. No! It's two more to go from the after lunch run session. Arriba! It's thorns from the toilet visit. <laughs> it's uh, see through, so it's good for Instagram. So that was the second 2000, we went back down at uh, 611, so pretty good pacing. Uh, even though it looks quite cold, it was pretty warm, so I'm gonna undress to this weird outfit and I'll keep on going. To put it like this, you know it's a strong group when you are a world champion and still get third in the session. 236 for me and 233. So Mecca, <laughs> Chris McCormick should put him into Super League as well. Oh. He's fast. Super League have for sure make me a better athlete and that's one of the reasons I chose to race there. Uh, because the transition is there, it's really important and so is the swim. So uh, that's one of my weaknesses in a triathlon. So uh, racing Super League has taught me both the, uh, the transition and the swimming and also more tactics and being more creative in the race because there's so many solutions to racing in a Super League race. For example, taking your shoes out of transition and take them over the elimination line and uh, beat out uh, Johnny Brownlee even though he is a much faster swimmer than you. <laughs> Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into my Super League training day. And uh, yeah, this is my training group, and on three, everyone is going to say Gustav Eden is the sexiest and best triathlete in the world. One, two, three! Gustav Eden is the sexiest and best triathlete in the world! Thank you!
make sure to subscribe to our channels and never miss out on our pro action.